Hello everybody, Mark Trenches here. So this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's going to be on spiders, uh, but it's going to be on a true spider. Um, hopefully it's going to be a new edition, because I haven't actually got it yet. I'm hoping to catch it today. It's called the Aratigena Aratica. Uh, basically it's the giant house spider. Yeah, I think these are quality spiders. If you've ever had one as a pet, or you know that these are the... Uh, you normally see the big mouths running along your carpet. I think it's the second biggest in England, as far as uh, our spiders go. The biggest go uh, is, the, I think it's called the Great Raft Spider. But um, yeah, we're going to try and capture one. There's always one place to look if you're going to find one of these giant house spiders, and that is in the corner of your garage. So we're going to go to the corner of my garage and see if we can capture one. Okay. Okay. Time to go to the garage. Okay, so this is where I see the web. This is actually a very big web. I'm hoping. We can attempt it out with a cricket, see if there's one in there, and then we'll have to uh, dig him out. Okay, so let's attempt him with a cricket. Okay, so as you can see, that is one there. The good thing is, that doesn't even look fully grown yet, but that's definitely one because that is big. Brilliant. That is exactly what I want. That's already bigger than the uh, your normal house spiders. There's actually two types of house spider. A lot of people don't realise this. There's this one, what I want, which grows to massive sizes for a true spider. And then there's the smaller one. Both look identical, but just one's bigger than the other. So now, the tricky part. I'm going to try and get this, this girl out. Okay, so she had bolted back in. I need to move some of this junk out of the way, clear the runway. God knows what we're going to find in here. All sorts of spiders. Very old jacket there. I was looking for that. Probably a little baby one there. Okay, so I don't know if I'll get this on video of me actually capturing the spider because they're very fast. And if he runs all the way around here, I've lost him. Or her, sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay, I can see her. Oh, oh. Yes. I have her. Look, the cricket in the mouth. <laughs> Still got the cricket in the mouth, how about that? Okay, so let's put her in here. Excellent. 
I'm now the proud owner of a giant house spider. Let's drop the cricket now. Now the good thing about these is, I don't have to look for a male, the male will come to me. Because you'll see a male either, like I say, running along the carpet, or the old classic in the bathtub. Okay, let's rehouse him. Okay, so we're back in the tea room. I've got my giant house spider. She's got the cricket still. <laughs> oh, that, these are these are really you're a spider enthusiast like me, this is a must have. So if, you, if you've got a garage or a part of the garden, even in the shed, you can see a massive web, carpet of web. Just like you just saw in the video. Go and catch yourself one of these. Did you actually miss a leg? I'll grab back in the next vault. This one's nowhere near fully grown yet. There's some very big spiders on this of this species. While I'm, in, while, I'm, uh, while I'm in my tea room, I uh, just thought I'd give you guys a couple of updates. I've got some nice exciting molts coming up. My female chicken spider. Barricaded literally all of her hide and I've managed to get a flash torch in there. I noticed the uh, bald part of her abdomen has turned to dark, which is brilliant news. And then the Acrobatus female, also in pre malt, which is very good because this is what I've been trying to breed, which I don't believe is mature yet. But after this malt, she'll be mature. This is my Pugferia colony. It's up to Lowland, still doing brilliantly. decided to um, bake their hide around the back of the court bark which is alright because I can see them properly there ok so let's get back to the original video I'm going to keep this enclosure very simple because obviously they're prolific webbers and we want, we want to see a web everywhere so I'm just going to put a small amount of substrate in the enclosure She made her home out of a corner of a garage, so I'm sure this is going to be more than suitable for her. Okay, so as you can see, it's literally just a, a cork bark placed in the corner. Hopefully, she'll web out of that and cover the whole enclosure in web. Let's see if we can rehouse her. Still much on the cricket. Brilliant. So it wander around, still got the cricket in the mouth. Like I say, she's nowhere near full grown yet. If we can get a male, that'd be brilliant. But once they've, uh, once they've webbed up, established a home, these would take down literally anything in their web. Formidable hunters in their own, in their own territory. It shouldn't take a long to build a web. I'm actually quite surprised she's still got that cricket in her mouth. So 
But yeah, this is the uh, typical big black spider that everyone's afraid of in the UK. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of these guys. Completely harmless. Very reluctant to bite. They make great pets. Okay. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.